say that we are purchased by and belong to Christ. Let's talk quickly about the battle for the mind. Since we're talking about lies and truth, uh, our mind plays a big role in this. Okay, here I am, smiley face me, I've got my mind up here. My mind and in a sense my heart as well. So, God can put thoughts into my mind and heart. The best example of this is in uh, Matthew chapter 8, also Matthew chapter 6. Or excuse me, Mark chapter 8, Matthew chapter 16. Mark 8, Matthew 16. Jesus asked his disciples, who do men say that I am? And they said, well, some say you're Elijah, come back to life. Some say you're John the Baptist, raised from the dead. Some say you're a prophet. Yeah, but you guys, who do you say that I am? Peter said, you are the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to Peter, Peter, you did not receive that from flesh and blood. You didn't receive that from other people. My heavenly Father put that in your heart. Now that's not the only place we see in the scripture God putting thoughts into people's hearts. In 1 Chronicles 28, 12, David was given the blueprint for the temple. In Exodus 35, God put into the heart of Bezalel and, a, and Aholiab the skill and the ability they needed to build and form the tabernacle. In Psalm 16:7, it says that at night the Lord counsels my heart and instructs me. If it is true, as it says in Ephesians 3:17, that Christ dwells in our heart, then the Holy Spirit within us. Speak to 